Hey guys, want to put this together for further clarification on what I'm talking about uh, with the right knee or the rear knee in the swing. Uh, maybe I didn't make it clear enough, but to say it again, I'm not talking about having all the flex locking the right leg on the backswing. I'm talking about losing 15 to 20 degrees of flexion. And this is important because it allows the hips and the shoulders to turn. Um, and then on the downswing, we we turn to address flexion so that we can uh, implement the jumping procedure into the fall through where the both legs straighten that's how we hit the ball high that's how we hit the ball far so got two players here Boo Weekly, Gray McDowell again you're gonna see the blue line I, I drew is their address flexion and as they take it back that right knee is losing flex you can almost think about it too like the knees are almost working like pistons the, the left thigh is working downward, the right thigh is working upward. And again, we can see very nice symmetry with the hips and the shoulders. That's how they're turning on an inclined plane by the right knee, the right leg flex now looking more like this. Again, not completely locking, not completely straightening out. Okay, same thing we're going to see with uh, Boo Weekly over here on the right. Let's see what that right knee is doing, right? Right leg is straightening, left is flexing. Again, working like pistons, so that left thigh is working down. That right thigh is working upward. I'm going to take a look at Dustin Johnson here. You can see the same thing. This thigh is going to be working down. This thigh is going to be working upward. Because if you notice that address, both knees are basically the same height in relation to one another. I'll just kind of draw lines there represent the kneecaps. You can see the top of the backswing, this right knee is higher than the left. So that's what's going on. If there's um, any confusion there, I um, hope these pictures definitely help. A question I got on the sand trap or, or somebody talking about their feelings, um, on the backswing, the hips and shoulders, turn your back is facing towards the target. Uh, yeah, that does happen, and that's why we uh, want to make sure that we're, we're turning on an inclined plane. Left shoulder's going down, right shoulder's going up, we're uh, left tilting and extending, and that's how uh, we have the, ba uh, the back facing the target. The weight's still going to be basically uh, even, maybe slightly forward. Uh, in terms of feeling it in your feet, uh, maybe watch out for feeling like um, it's on the inside part of the right foot. So I'm just going to highlight that here with Dustin Johnson. If there's too much pressure there, it inhibits what the right knee, right leg can do. Um, if it's kicked in too much at a dress, um, Dustin does a nice job of it. He's got the, you know, the feet flared a little bit, the knees turned out a little bit. But if he had this knee, um, going to draw another line. If he had this knee kicked in more, and then just trying to make sure that that knee stays there. It can inhibit what the uh, what the right knee, the motion the right knee can do. And again, if we don't allow that thing to lose flexion, then we start to compromise what we can do with our pivot, with our shoulders, how far down the left shoulder can go, and uh, a range of motion. I'm taking a look at the question again. Um, your right leg is bracing the turn. I don't really like to describe it like that. Um, I think if that's, you know, if, the, if you end up looking uh, like some of these pictures I just showed and, and then you're feeling like you're bracing, that's fine. But it's not something, um, I like that idea of, of, of bracing. I think you allow your right hip to turn, and Gray McDowell's a great example of this, to maintain this measurement the slant he's got it address, he's not just turning. Uh, he might feel like he is, 
but taking a look at what he's actually doing, this right hip is turning on an inclined plane. So it's going up and back to stay at basically, you know, it gets a little bit steeper, but basically staying at the same tilt as he had at address. Um, this makes things a lot easier for him to do what he needs to do in terms of hitting the ball first, hitting it far enough, and be able to control uh, the curve of the ball. Um, the other part of the question, the sand trap, was, uh, yeah, so the right leg doesn't stay the same flex. It did the top of the backswing. Um, again, this right knee is going to flex again. See, it goes from straining, so it goes from flexed to straightening. Again, straightening does not mean locked. Back to flexed, and then it's going to start straightening again into the fall through. A very important power piece and important for hitting the ball high. So, hope this helps um, clarify some things, and uh, thanks, guys.